How do you get this thing off? In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm going to show you how to remove the door cards. Um, so the door card is this whole assembly uh, on the interior of the car. It's, you know, a door handle, it's the door panel, it's the upper door cap, the speaker grill, but it's all essentially one piece. Um, you might want to take the door card off for a bunch of reasons. You might actually need to do a mechanical adjustment, uh, something with the opener, or maybe <clears throat> with the, you're trying to do something with the window glass, or access the... Um, uh, something to do with the uh, rear view mirror or you might be wanting to take this off to refinish the leather or you might be wanting to take this off so that you can uh, get the top door cap uh, refinished which is actually why I'm doing it. So uh, the process isn't particularly difficult. Uh, it doesn't take uh, a whole lot of special tools or anything. So let me go and show you which tools we're going to need to get started. We'll need just some basic simple tools actually to take the door cards off. Um, the primary players here, we need a five millimeter Allen wrench and we need a T20 Torx tip. Uh, I'm gonna use that with a, a nut drive or a, with a nut driver, uh, but you could just use a, a standard or torque wrench. I'm gonna use a pick tool with an angled head. Not essentially, you could do something with a small screwdriver so you'll see what I mean when we're in the project. I also have a magnetic tip uh, pickup tool uh, just to grab a couple of screws that might be in tough spaces. Again, not a critical, that's optional. You might also want to have a non-marring uh, interior pry tool. Uh, you may or may not need this and I'll show you in the video. It's always handy to have a, uh, a shop light and we are gonna want to have a few clean shop towels because when we take parts off, or you may want to have um, a clean bathroom towel or a bunch of microfibers spread out just to put the nice interior parts you're taking off onto. The last thing I want to do is give a shout out. This was one of the first projects I did about eight years ago on my cart. I didn't video it back then, but I found, I think it was over on Piston Heads, this tremendous article on how to remove the door cards. This guy has got to be an engineer. There's titles, revision numbers, dates, tools required, photos, annotations to the photos, and he didn't put his name on it. And all I'm gonna say is I have, give credit to item 12 when you're all finished the process, have a cold one, warm beer, and admire your handiness. So to whoever you are out there, uh, thank you for the inspiration to undertake this project, and I'm gonna do a video for it. All right, let's get started over on the car. So the first step in getting the door card off is to wind the window all the way down. So you want the window completely uh, out of sight here. Um, and then we're going to start by trying to remove the grab handle. So the first thing to do is use your five millimeter hex. Now this is painted, so you need to be careful as you're working around these painted surfaces. So crack that one loose. Crack that one loose. And then you can just spin the bolts out. I wouldn't worry, I don't think it's gonna fall out on you. Uh, both of these bolts are the same length, so you don't have to pay attention to which one's longer. So next step, we need to separate that from the car. Now, this is where you might, it's basically it's just gonna take a tug back this way, but if it doesn't come with the tug, you might get in here with your non-marring trim tool and pry it back like that. So then it's going to come away and it's going to still be tethered by the door handle cable. So this piece of leather here, which is the nice of Aston, they put a piece of leather for where your fingers touch on the back of the handle. This doesn't have any screws that hold it in place. It just lifts away and you'll notice it gets pretty grubby from all your hands touching it. So this will be something you'll want to use a little leather cleaner on before you put it back in. So now we exposed um, the uh, door catch mechanism or the, the cable. So there's a couple of things that I've seen written up about it. Basically we have to get this little plastic part out of this frame 
And then once we have that, we can do a 90 degree turn and we can take this little cable end out. The article from the nice guy on the internet said you could loosen off these two screws to free up this bracket. But what I found is that we can use a pick. So we, this pulls up and out, but there's these little plastic tabs on both sides that need to be tugged back before we can lift it away. So I'm gonna use the right angle pick. I'm kind of balancing this on my knee. And I'm gonna see if I can just get in behind here and do a little bit of prying. Pull it back, because it will start to slide up. You don't want to go too gonzo on this, because if you do, you can break them off. As I found out on the other side, that some previous mechanic had already broken off half of them. Uh, there we go. So it's not hard. And then all it takes is a 90 degree turn and you can pull that out of there. So, so now we have this free in a way. And since this is painted, I'm gonna go put it up here on my rags keep it safe. <laughs> okay, so next up, we have uh, six screws we want to release to that hold the door card in place. So those screws are the, the T20 uh, that I was talking about earlier. The first one that we can probably do is up here under this end cap. Now this end cap is either held on with tape or Velcro, and you're gonna end up having to just pull it apart and just do it carefully. I'm gonna use a little bit of a screwdriver or something to get in there and just tease the adhesive away from the metal tab. The force is strong with this one. So that was just double-sided tape onto a metal platform. So I'm gonna put that safely away. And so this has a single screw right in here. And it, that screw also holds the bracket that holds that end plate on. So there comes off the bracket Now, all six of these screws are the same, so you don't have to worry too much about keeping them separated. Now the next screw, and maybe the cameraman can pass me the camera just for a second, is at the end of the vent for the defrost of the side windows. So we're gonna get in there and we're gonna pull that one out. Kind of hard to see, but pretty straightforward. And this is the one that I ended up using the magnetic tip extraction tool. Now, the next ones, there's four of them along the bottom of the door. Again, they're still just the same screw. Now you might be tempted to use an electric tool to do this, and you certainly could, but I'm working around painted surfaces, and I'm probably working on screws that I could snap off with the tool if I pulled the trigger the wrong way. So for these ones, I'm just opting to go be a little bit more patient and just do it by hand. All right, so we're almost ready. Um, the process is we're gonna pull the door frame out at the bottom, and then we're gonna lift it up. We have one last obstacle in our way that maybe the cameraman can come in a little bit closer here. 
So when we lift this up, this is gonna probably wanna scrape against the, um, the mirror trim plate. So the manuals and everybody says we should, be, we should remove this. And they say it's just held on with clips. And we should just be able to pull it back. Feel it coming away, so I'm maybe going to do it in two steps. I'm, I'm going to actually see if I can lift the door away. So now there's basically three clips or three little arms it's laying on top of. So I'm going to pull back at the bottom and then see if I can lift the door up. There we go. So I'm leaving the nose down still because I still have that obstacle in the way. But I want to get a little loosey goosey going on here. Now, aha, so that got me, the fact that I could tip this now made it so I could pull this back. And there are clip, clip, and what should be a third clip, which might be the source of my wind whistle, is the, the metal clip part isn't there on either piece. So I'm gonna chalk that up to as uh, when I got the car resprayed, they didn't bother to put that back properly. So, uh, Anyways, we've got that wind cheater out of the way. And now we can lift off a little further. So we're not done. We still have wires back here. So I can pull out the door latch cable. So this is the little puddle light, lights up the ground when you're getting in and out of the car. And it just has two little ears you squeeze in and slide it out. That one's pretty easy. And then we have the driver's door module for the windows and things. There's a tab right there. So squeeze, wiggle, and we're free. And now I can put the door someplace safe. While we're here, let's have a little, just a look at what you've exposed. So now you can get into the power window motor, the speakers. Here's the famed door control modules that end up going bad and have to be replaced. Certainly this is probably why my, my car has already had the door panels off a few times because this has been done. You'll probably find little remnants like this. Oh, look, this little plug is supposed to be plugged in there, you know, into the door to hold that from rattling. Um, you know, car's 17 years old now, so a little, there's a, these little white Teflon things have been falling off. Um, you'll probably want to look at the condition of this sort of bitumen isolation tape that's on the top of these three catches. On the back side, they're probably chewed up um, uh, from, you know, when the door cap goes over and grabs on. Uh, so maybe we can get some uh, new tape to freshen those up. If you're doing the project where you need to get your uh, driver's mirror off now, well, we've got the cap off, and now you have access to the electrical plug. So this will be something you'll do. <laughs> I doubt there was 3M blue painter's tape <laughs> on the car when it left the factory. Uh, I know what's... Oh. A rattle. So somebody got in here and uh, whatever this inspection plug is, I'm sure that was driving somebody crazy. So I'll have to remind myself to uh, do something maybe a little more professional. So that's it. Um, the door card's off. You know, when you now that you've got it off, you can do some cleaning to it. You know, you can get all the crud off of it. Uh, me, I'm actually going to be servicing the door caps. I'm going to take these off and have the wood refinished. Um, so, you, you know, it's a great time for you to, you know, get after the leather, clean this up real nice. Um, I guess we can have a look on the inside real quick, too, if you're interested in what you'll find when you get your door card off. Um, you can see this is the duct where the defroster air comes up and kind of 
creams up the windshield. Um, and there are some screws that you'll use for the door cap. It's pretty simple inside. There are no breakable fir tree clips. Aston Martin has done one thing that I really like. It's just the six screws and the three catches along the top. So you're not gonna break any fir trees that you have to replace when you take the door panel off. So that's it. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. You can get on with your project now. Uh, up here, I'll probably have a link to how to reinstall the, uh, uh, the door card. Um, if you like uh, videos and articles like this, please go ahead and check out my companion blog article that'll list all the tools, maybe the leather cleaner I use and things like that. It'll have a link to the PDF from the other guy that I used. And as always, uh, I'd like you to subscribe so you get automatically notified uh, of when I put out a new video. And please leave your comments down below. I love to hear them. Thanks for watching.